What's up everybody? Today we've got an exciting video for you. We're gonna be shooting some 400 dynamic 4x5 for the first time in the studio outside. We've got Ryan Meerhead here, an amazing photographer who's been friends with Cinestill for a, quite a long time. We got the brothers, the creators of Cinestill, and we've got a ton of really awesome custom-made cameras, brand new 4x5s, and a bunch of great film. We've even got some expired instant film we're gonna put in these cameras alongside this brand new Cinestill 4x5 film. And we're just gonna have a grand old time and make some fun images today. Okay. So Brandon just took a test shot of me on some expired Fuji 3000B, and we're gonna let that develop for a couple seconds. Ooh, it's getting crispy. Ooh, look at that. How's it look? I, I actually think the exposure is nice. Yeah, it's really good. You say it's a boy? Handsome boy. Oh. It's a boy. <laughs> it's a boy. You like that blink action? You're taking a photo of Brian taking a photo of Arvin? Mm hmm. Well. There you go. Thank you, King. Thank you. So you pick at it right here? Not this end because it's it won't pick at. And then when you peel that off. Now you have the Ooh. negative with no goops, mm -hmm. right? That's good to save, mm -hmm. hold that. And then you have your positive, and that's the chemical trash you throw away. It doesn't get on your fingers. You guys see that? That was a perfect Polaroid peel and pull from And perfect exposure. Brandon, yeah. I did and it. Look at that exposure, that's beautiful. That's Fuji 3000B, shot on what type of camera, Brandon? Uh, the Brothers Twin Lens camera. The Brothers Twin Lens custom made 4x5. F2. F2. Wow. So, I am gonna be shooting with this Intrepid Camera Mark II. I'm just gonna shoot a portrait of Ryan here, and Brandon is gonna show me exactly how to use this 4x5 film holder that has 10 sheets of film in it? This one's got six sheets. Yeah, this is Graphmatic. I do have a Kinematic which has 10 sheets. But oh we're gonna gosh. start with the six sheet. Okay. But yeah, it's basically like, it's like a kind of similar to like a pack foam holder, uh, but it has six sheets in it. They shuffle. So after you take one exposure, it shuffles that sheet to the back so you can take the next one. Oh, that, um, that's amazing technology. And it's also daunting, but we'll get to that later. Once you're all framed up, I'll help you out with this. Okay. Basically, if you're on one you're and there's no film being exposed, you know you're in a good place. <laughs> Like this that. Was for like reporters when they were yeah, when they just had to do a ton of photos. You could do six in a row. You focus ah. once and then you just go chunk chunk, expose, chunk chunk, next sheet, expose, chunk chunk. They're so cool. <laughs> it's it's so well. dope. Cool. Um, but you start there mm -hmm. and you that just means that you can put it in your bag and it'll actually get pulled. Cool. So we'll keep it like that. Perfect. Was it, oh, is it supposed to go in from the bottom? Well, then that's why I was having so many issues. So you see that? I you see I'm this groove right here? Right from the see how it drops in right there? Yeah. And then you go there, and then you just slide up until it stops. Where's that blanket at? Oh, Ted's sleeping on it. He's like, this is fun. He's like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is so sharp. Okay, I'm kind of ready to take this photo. Um, I haven't metered it or anything though, so maybe I should do right, that first. Yeah. We're doing F8 still? Yeah, F8. At 30th? Okay, yeah. cool. We're all squared away, and then pull this out. Uh, you closed the lens already, right? Yeah. Okay, good, yes. It'll go. All the way, until it stops. Now, push it back in. It's ready. Okay. Okay. All right. Shall we? Yeah. Three, two, one. Now you do the same thing, but you want to hold this button in. Okay. So see. just like that? Yeah, and then pull. Really? Yes. Here, I'll show you. <laughs> okay. Now you see. Yeah, yeah. Now you're shuffling them. Okay. So you have to pull all the sheets down. So the... There you go. 
Did you hear it fall back? Yeah, yeah, I saw it fall back, but it just felt like it was going to fall on frame two? And everything. Yeah, I see that. And, and then lock it. Lock it. And, you and then out. take so it out. Cool. Does it, does it, when you, you want to do a second one? <laughs> does it reveal a red? You're like, can I have my bed back? No, not yours. You guys take one. Three, two. Okay, thanks. <sighs> Yeah. Pull the whole thing hard. All right, now push it back in. Uh, that looks fantastic. I'm gonna grab my little meter here. Ooh, I like this a lot more. Just give you a little meter. We're 11 on one side, nine on the other. Your face is an 11. How does that make you feel? Um, better than 10, I guess. Yeah, like one better, <laughs> at least. Put it on, and then I'll show you how to show set the curtain. So let's just make sure it's fully reset first. Okay. okay. So everything's reset. Yep. So look at this side. Yep. 500th of a second is bit, one right? half. Okay. So we're going cool. one half. And so that window needs to show one half. Okay. So if you pull this out, you can adjust. Yeah, so now you're all set, ready to go. Just remember that what you see in the viewfinder is the width of a four by five, but the height is, a, you get a little more on top and bottom. So you pull the dark slide all the way out. Okay. Push, push it, it in. all the way back in. Now you're ready to go. One, two, three. All the way. Yep, and then push it all the way back down. You're ready to go. Hey, can I take a portrait of you on the their crazy Pentax with the <laughs> XX? Such that was good. such a, yeah. did you get that? The crazy Pentax. Yes. Oh my gosh. So uh, I didn't warn you about that, but yes, no. the viewfinder is removable. Okay, I had no idea. <laughs> so be careful with that. Wow, <laughs> that made you look so cool though. You just like. So we're looking two at a thousand, which is just gonna be lovely. I have to focus with this crazy roller skating wheel. Three, two, one. Oh yeah, that nailed the focus and I love the light leak. Three, two, boom. Three, two, one. Ooh. Like lean forward towards me and support your weight with your hand on the ground. Yeah. Three, two, one. This whole thing moves, so if you notice when you look in there, it's hard to see the whole frame. And even if you could, you, it doesn't the show. Frame. The whole frame is only four inches by four inches. You get a little bit of half, a half inch, inch on top and bottom. Right. Because this originally was a three, four camera mm -hmm. with a rotating back, mm -hmm. which gave me the room to be able to put a four by five graph lock back on it. Three, two, one. It's gonna be a good one. All right, let's see how this turned out. Ooh. A little overexposed, but nice. It looks nice yeah. and sharp. Very sharp. That's awesome. Three, two, one. It's like, it's so, so genius. They this? It's like, how did they do this? Like, how is this simpler than did like, like a digital sensor? It's hundred years ago. It's so, this. it's so amazing to me. Right? Three, two, one. Cool. Three, two, there you go. Three, two, one. Yeah. Oh my. Actually, it looks really cool. Uh, looks really nice. Three, two, one. Yeah, I did everything right. <laughs> 
So we decided to pop out of the studio around sunset. The sun is beautiful right now. We're in Hollywood and we're just gonna shoot a couple sheets of 4x5 400 dynamic. It's a beautiful day. Three, two, and one. Boom. The world's favorite model. Best model of all time. Three, two, one. You're F-16, so I'm sure it's... <laughs> yeah, right? So, that was our day shooting Cinestill 400D in 4x5 for the first time. We wanted to try a little bit in the studio and a little bit outside to give you guys an idea of what it looks like in both of those situations. Cinestill 400D is available right now and we cannot wait to see what you guys do with this beautiful new large format film. Thank you so much for being here guys and thank you for watching. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. Alright, cool. That was perfect.